So when they came to me, when I was feeling a bit better, and the, guy, and the doctor goes, oh, we're going to put you on the buckle board. <laughs> I goes, are you fucking serious? I said, you're going to put an ex-cop on the buckle board with 12 insane criminals? He goes, what's the problem with that? I said, mate, you're not real. I said, there's only going to be one outcome. Either they're going to kill me or I'm going to kill them. Which one do you want? So he said, you need more time seclusion. Lock me up for another week. <laughs> so anyway, eventually they, they put me on the ward and I spent a week on the ward. I spent a week on the ward, I spent three months on the ward. But I, I, I decided what, I was sane enough to, this, to, to bring in a persona, non-military, non-police non, non persona. I said I was ex-Navy. I had a dramatic divorce, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and I'm a boxer. But while I was in there, the, 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 the most interesting part of the story for me is, Firstly, there's no care in there whatsoever. There is no care at all in, in any of their mental hospitals, contrary to what they'll have you think. Secondly, the drugs are dished out and they're swapped. Literally. On, you know, people with, who are taking back in drugs for schizophrenia, give them to people who've got treble lafenia. It's, it's just mental. Nobody takes their tablets. They sell them for fags and sweets. Swap them. And when I was in there, I met a guy called Julian. And I got really pallid with him. He was 65, I was 50. I said, what's your story, Julian? He goes, well, he says, when I was 13, he says, I got took into care. Me and the, my mum couldn't cope with the kids. I goes, oh, okay. He says, and um, we got sent to care. And as a protest, they said, I set fire to the curtains of the care home. He said, I've got three years in Borsal, arson with intent to endanger life. He said, in there, he said, I was 13, pretty. He said, I got raped every day by the bigger lads. He said, the only way I could stop the rapes was to make a homemade knife and stab them. Instead of them getting done for raping me, I got done for GBH in them. He said, so I got more bird. He said, I ended up on Parkhurst on the Isle of Wight with Ronnie Cray. Ronnie Cray says, Julian, you're a very pretty man. And for the duration of your sentence here, you'll be my wife. He said, and he beat the fuck out of me and raped me every day. Literally beat me to a pulp and raped me every single day. Violent sex was his thing. He says, and then one day a girl comes on the wing. He says, he's a nonce, paedophile. He says, you're going to kill him. And Julian says, when, a, when Ronnie Cray give, gives an order to another inmate, it's not a, not a request, it's an order. He said, so I cut the bloke's throat with a knife, but he didn't die. He says, so, but I got lifed off, criminally insane, without parole. He says, I'm 65 and I've been inside 52 years. I cried. I literally burst into tears. Now, I can't tell you if that's a true story or not, because people made up stories about why they were there, because they didn't want the truth to be coming out. And plus they're psychotic. Plus they're psychotic as well. So I can't say that's 100% a factual story. But when he told me, that he, he said it with all sincerity, and I looked at him, I, was, I just thought, fucking hell, mate, 52 years and you've not seen daylight. And when he said, he said, Rob, if they said to me tomorrow, off you go, he said, I don't think I could. He said, I've never seen a plane fly. I've never seen anything. He said, my life's been on standstill for all those years. And all I've been is abused all my life. He said, what will I be like outside? What kind of man will I be? I don't know. Ronnie Cray was an ons. He was a, oh, yeah. he was a horrible bastard. Yeah, he was, yeah. When he got jailed, he was in bed with a 14-year-old or a 13-year-old mm -hmm. boy. Like it was, these people shouldn't be glorified. Let's not yeah. all for gangsters and maybe involved in that life but to harm kids you're a fucking you're a you're a wronging he was a proper wronging yeah and i don't get why they say you can rehabilitate somebody that's like saying i can rehabilitate me and you to prefer men to women it just can't be done whatever you prefer you prefer yeah you can't say to somebody you no know, from tomorrow you won't fancy kids you're going to fancy women again yeah. it's not going to happen i've never no wouldn't dream of fancying a kid